Sound Sleuth Lab. Today we're going to build a small stereo microphone that can easily be tucked into a backpack or used with a ball cap to capture some great walk around ambience recordings. It is a super simple build that plugs into any 3.5 millimeter microphone jack on a recorder or camera with pit power. The parts list, sample audio, and details are in the YouTube description. Enough said, let's build. Here are the parts. One stereo mini plug, two capsules, and some shielded wire. About 12 to 16 inches works great. We connect as follows. Mic capsule plus to tip, other mic capsule plus to ring. Both shields to ground. We're using spiral wound wire here because it's easier, way easier than braided. I use a single edge razor blade to carefully strip the outer insulation and then twist the shield to one side. Spiral wound is so much easier to work with. Now strip just a bit off the center conductor. Tin both. Note on the shield, just tin the end. On to soldering the capsules. Shield to ground and the center to the plus terminal. See why we don't tin the entire shield? Gets kind of stiff and this is already hard enough to work with. Inspect your work when done. Now prep the other end of the wire. Only tin the center conductor here and you'll see why shortly. This is gonna get soldered to a 3.5 millimeter jack, so pay attention to the lengths of everything here. Most importantly, put the sleeve and the connector body over the wires before soldering the connector. I kinda have to relearn this one often. Tin the connector tip and sleeve connections. This makes soldering so much easier. When both wires are soldered to the connector, twist the shields together. Now form them over the top of the connector ground shield portion. Solder this to the connector, ensuring the shield wires are well tinned and soldered on both sides. Trim off any excess. Inspect your wonderful soldering job, yeah. Now we have to fold over the two strain relief tabs so that the sleeves will fit. Don't crush this. If all is good, the insulating sleeve will slide on and the body will screw on with little resistance. If you have to force it, go back and straighten some things out. Now we need to strengthen and insulate the capsule solder connections. This is easily done with some E6000 glue. This stuff shrinks as it dries and remains flexible. After the glue dries, all we need to do is put the capsules into the little furry wind protection. Come on, get inside, man. These have little stretchy parts with snaps that are ideal for attaching to things. Here are the recorders I've used with this. These two do 24 bit 96 kilohertz and they are really good. The third one is 16 bit 44 kilohertz, inexpensive, and it's actually pretty good too. Okay, let's put these to use. Here's our completed microphone. Let's install into a backpack. My Swiss gear has a headphone cable port. How perfect is that? I use the little elastic band and snaps to attach one to either side of the handle. Okay, got the microphones on the backpack and um, 
wire is sticking out because it's actually plugged into my DJI Pocket Camera as I film this. So you're listening to the microphones and a little bit of noise from my backyard. I will probably cut this tag off so it's not as noticeable as what it is, but notice uh, blends right into the backpack. Didn't have any problem schlepping this thing around Europe.